Hi boys and girls, welcome to our religion lesson this week. Today we are going to talk about saints. Now saints, they are very, very important people that are very, very, very close to God and to Jesus. Guess where saints live right now? Up in heaven. Yes, yeah, saints live up in heaven. But they didn't always live in heaven. Saints used to live down here on earth, just like we do. And they used to live in houses, mm -hmm. and they used to have families, and they used to live in villages with other mm -hmm. people. But one thing that saints did when they lived on earth like we do, they did lots of good, good works, and they made lots of really good choices every day. So, for example, if they lived near somebody who was sick, they helped those people feel better. Maybe they helped give them medicine or helped to make them feel more comfortable by bringing them warm food to eat. Um, they helped people get the things that they needed to live. Maybe they didn't have all the things that they needed to live, so they would bring them clean water to drink or maybe weave some clothes for them to wear so they had clothes on their body, or maybe even invited them to come in and live in their homes. So they made really good choices on earth, and Jesus noticed that. He noticed that they said yes to him and lived their lives the way that Jesus would want us to live. And guess where they ended up? Once they died, they went straight to heaven, and they live and have a very close place to Jesus now. The good thing about saints is that they are up in heaven watching over us every single day. And saints are also people that we can pray to to ask us for help in our own lives. So we can pray and ask Jesus for help, just like we do when we're at school during our prayer circle. We can pray to God and ask him for help, but we can also pray to the saints. Now I want to introduce you to a new saint today. And she's got a she's got a really long name. Her name is Takakwitha. It's different than my name for sure, but it is a Native American name. So it sounds a little bit different. So Takakwitha, she grew up in North America, just like us. And you know why I love North America, because that's where we live. Well, that's where Takakwitha lived as well. She actually spent a lot of her time in Canada. And that's why we're going to talk about her today. So Takakwitha, her dad was a Native American or an Indian, and her mom was Christian, and she loved Jesus, and she said yes to Jesus. So that's how Takakwitha got to know Jesus a little bit, through her mom. So when she was growing up, she was a little girl, and she lived in a village, and she never, never quite fit in very well with the people in her village. And one day, an illness came to her village, a sickness, oh, some nasty, yucky germs that made some people in her village very, very sick. They also made Takakwitha very sick, too. It, it forced her to get boo-boos on her face. You can see some of them on her picture. They're red. Some boo-boos on her face. And it also affected her eyes. Those germs made her eyes hurt and made it very hard for her to see, making her feel blind. That's when your eyes don't work very well. And even though her eyes look normal on her picture here, they didn't work very well. So she went through her childhood. She loved to weave and she loved to play with her dolls. But one thing that she could not do very well was play with the other kids because she could not see very well and she could not chase them and play games with them. Oh no, you can't keep up with us. You just go and you, you just go weave. We're gonna go play and run, bye. And that made Takakwitha feel very sad because she wanted to play with her friends, but she couldn't keep up with them. So, as she got a little older, 
she started to become more interested in her mom and how her mom was very close to Jesus. So she started to get close to Jesus too. And Takakwitha would spend lots of time out in the forest. You can see all of our trees right here. She felt very calm when she was out in nature. It was her peaceful place. And when she was out there, she would talk to Jesus. And she would tell Jesus about all the things that were happening in her life and the people that she was trying to help in her village. And in an effort to try and remember to pray to Jesus every day, Takakwitha would find crosses out in the woods. And even though she couldn't see very well, she would feel with her hands and she would try and find a cross. And every time she would find a cross out in the woods, out in the forest, it would remind her to pray. So she had crosses that she would find made out of branches all over the place. She would find them on the ground. She would find them in the trees. And that's where she did a lot of her praying. Now, when she went back to her village and tried to explain to the other boys and girls and the other people in her village that she had said yes to Jesus and she was trying to do good works, and she used to tell, try and tell them how great Jesus was, they didn't understand her and they would tease her and make fun of her. Jesus? Who's Jesus? I have never heard of him and I have never met him. Who is this? Oh, Jesus is very special, and he wants us to live our lives by making good choices and helping other people. He lives up in heaven. Oh, I've never heard of that. Maybe you can tell us more. Maybe. So, to cook with a, she actually changed her name, and she is now known as Saint Kateri. It's a little shorter and a little easier to remember. But she spent her whole life trying to teach people about Jesus and about God and how we should live our lives making very, very good choices every single day. So boys and girls, now she lives up in heaven. She's up in heaven and we can pray to her every day if we want for help in our own lives. And this is what I want you guys to remember. I want you to remember that we should all say yes to Jesus and every day try to make good choices too. With our family, with our friends, with our brothers and sisters, with our pets. Maybe, like St. Kateri, you can go around your house and you can find something special to you that will remind you to pray every day to Jesus. Maybe it's your favorite stuffed animal. Maybe you have a cross in your bedroom that will remind you to pray. Whatever that one item is, see if you can keep it close to you, maybe in your bedroom, on your dresser, near your bed, and every day you can remember to pray to Jesus. Remember, we are all saints in training too. Maybe someday, that, someday when we go to heaven in a long, long time from now, Jesus will say, you made really good choices in your life, and you tried every day to do good works for other people. And we can all be saints, too. We'll see you later.